Okay, now to the matter of hand. Am I selling the puppies? Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Dog Dad. First of all, sorry, it's been a couple days. I don't know how to talk about this without getting emotional. I took a couple days off of vlogging. I have some personal stuff going on in my life that uh, kind of just all got thrown at me. And I swear when life has a crazy way of just throwing everything at you all at once to see if you can handle it. I lost someone in my life. Ah, tears that I loved very deeply. This was uh, somebody I was romantically involved with a long time ago, and it was really sudden, and I hadn't spoken to this person in a long time. And it just, it hit me so hard because I have so many regrets of how things kind of ended and the communication afterwards. And I just like hadn't spoken to them in so long. And there's nothing I can do about it now. Uh, I just had a therapy session, so I feel like I'm extra emotional and I'm trying to just like, bandage it and I don't want to like cry but just trying to like breathe through it and get through it and think of the positive moments that we shared in life and I'm sure I'll go into this in depth one day but right now it's just like it's way too early to talk about for me personally but it's just been a really hard couple days so I do apologize uh, for the lack of vlogs for the past three four days but we are here now and I'm gonna take you guys to see the puppies and I appreciate just the love and patience and all the support that you guys have given in the comments. I can't thank you enough. It means the world to me. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know and be kind of transparent with uh, why I was a little gone for a little bit. I just like couldn't really pick up the camera, you know? I tried to film stuff and I didn't and it was a whole thing, but I have a, a lot of great videos coming up for, for holidays. I'm not going to call it Vlogmas, but it's it's essentially vlogmas. A lot of videos coming out. But yeah, that's where my heart is. See you guys in a second. Hey, stay, stay, stay. And who's been with me the past couple days? We have Wolfie and we have Storm. I'm bringing Wolfie back uh, just to hang out for a couple hours. I think he might come back with me. He's been really good. Good boy. All right, let's go. Monty. Monty. Hi. Oh, he locked me out of the entire house, little girl. I bet he's in my car. Wolfie, you gotta get out. Come on, let's go. Come on, Wolfie, come on. Come on, that's your dad's house. I know you love me, but you gotta come in at least while I'm here. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, hi, Moon. You let me in. Hi, buddy. Hi. Where's my girl? Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hi! 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 Yes, 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 yes. Okay, come on. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Oh, she's gonna get. Oh, you knocked something down. What are you bringing me? What are you bringing me? Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Let's go outside. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're so good. Oh, good. I missed you too. Oh my goodness. Hello everyone. Hi. You guys are you guys are all grown up. And there's poop in here. And piss in here. Hi. You guys are so big. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so gorgeous to me. They're looking for places to go. Hi. Yeah, we gotta get you some litter boxes in here. What's going on? Hey Google, turn on piano music. Wow. Hi Aspen. Who are you? Hi Grizz. Who's this? Hi Woods. You're all so gorgeous. Oh my God, purple? No, green. Hi buddy, how's your little growth going? Oh, sweet boy. So a little update on Bo's growth. The vet thought that it would actually be better if we wait a couple weeks until he's like five or six weeks before he comes in. They're a little nervous. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated on that. But you guys, you're getting so big. You're moving around like crazy. The little Christmas puppers. I missed you all so much. Look at them. Look at them. Hi guys. Oh, there's my purple girl. Little baby twig. 
All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You guys can nap a little longer, I think. Actually, we really needed to switch out these pads. They're gross, there's poop in here. Hey, get out of there. Monty is having a much needed break. She's hanging with Moon. Stormy's over here, and Wolfie, of course, is waiting for dinner. And I changed the puppies' pee pads, and they're taking a nap right now. And as for me, you might ask, I am going to Tractor Supply to get these little pine little kernels, pellets, and then I have to go to Petco to get a cat litter box, a plain one. So in the videos that I saw, it's not obviously healthy to use. What's it called? Fertilizer, cat? Not fertilizer, uh, what is it? Cat, whatever, I don't know the word. Comment it down below, I have no idea. Cat, cat, nip. Cat, what is it? I don't know. We gotta use an organic thing because puppies are gonna wanna eat the wood and the wood isn't. They're probably not gonna eat it, but it's just, this is healthier. So I'm gonna go get the pine wood pellets, which are super cheap. I'll take you guys along with me. And then we're going to the pet store. Did so we have any snacks in this? Oh. Literally nothing. Nothing here except eggs. Literally nothing, nothing for me. No wonder you guys starve in here. Haha, ha. but I will steal one of your little snacks. Also, these are their current weights. We have Grizz at 3.7, Buck at 3.7, Woods at 3.8, Bow at 3.1, Huck at 3.8, and Timber at 3.4. And for the girls, we have Winter at 3.7, 3 pounds, 6, 7 ounces, Yarrow at 3.6, Aspen at 4 pounds, 1 ounces, a big bitch. And we got Twig at 3.1, now we got Fern at 3.1, and Twig at 2.8 in comparison to their birth weights. Crazy. Litter. Literally, that's the word I was looking for before. So I found this pine one, but it says feline pine. I don't know if this is okay. I'm not sure. And then these are all the litter boxes that I found, but they seem to be really high. This is the smallest one, but I don't like the color. And also this is a pretty small one. So I think I might get two of these and pop them next to a bed. So, oh, this one's small too. Maybe we can try with this size. Okay, so the guy at the store said that this was actually fine because 100% chemical free, sustainably sourced pine, best odor control, no fragrances added, and it is 100% natural pine, non-clumping litter. So if it does get ingested, we'll just have to we'll just have to be careful so it's not ingested, but it does not clump. That means it does not get bigger. So we'll just have to keep an eye on them and hopefully. We'll hope for the best. I mean, they don't have any teeth, so I don't think they'll, they'll be into it, but I'm gonna set this up right now, and then I'm gonna bring Monty in to feed them, and then I'm gonna see if they wanna use the litter box, the puppy litter box. Oh my God, literally piss pot. That's so much piss. Let's set this up right now. Hey, I don't wanna crush you guys. Oh, I don't wanna crush you guys. And then they put the bins next to it. Angel, no. Watch out. Here. Let's move you over there. Let's get this out of here. Let's go potty in here. You know what I mean? What do you guys think of that? You go potty in there? Oh, they can kind of get out. All it takes is one of you guys to go pee in here. And then, you will all go. We're gonna need a bigger litter box. Well, they're learning to get out of it at least. I don't know if they're learning to go. I'm gonna try to like, pop them in here so they like, get the gist of it, you know? You just get in here when you need to go to the bathroom and you just kind of go and do your thing. You need to get out look, just like that. Yeah, good boy. You want to go in Aspen? It just takes one. Which one of you is going to go in to go potty? Which one of you is going to go in? 
No, no, ah, 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 ah. Oh, down. Anyways, that is gonna be an adventure. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if they go for it. I really hope so. I think they're very smart, just like their mother. I think they're gonna go for it, but I don't really know the pipeline of the bed and the litter box. I think it's gonna take a minute. It's just gonna take one. It's gonna take one to go to the bathroom there and I think they're all gonna follow suit. Okay, now to the matter of hand. Am I selling the puppies? Am I selling the puppies to make a lot of money? Yeah, I am. I really am. That's why I did this whole, that's why this whole situation happened. No, no you guys, I am not selling the puppies to make money. I am successful on my own. I have other businesses, other projects. I do very well on YouTube, on social media, Instagram, TikTok. I work with incredible brands. Also, a part of me that you guys don't see, I consult with a lot of brands as well and a lot of skincare companies. So I work on different product developments, different launches, branding, whole different side. And then I also have all my different clients for home decor, home interior projects. I have design projects, floral projects. I do a lot and then, I, and then on top of that, I do all like producing, writing, all that stuff that I've done in the past that I'm continuously working on. I have a bunch of stuff, like I'm, I'm creative, I'm always doing something. I've seen comments saying he's just doing this for the money. No, I'm not. That's the last thing on my mind. I care for these dogs more than I care for myself and I've spent a ton of money taking care of them, making sure Monty has the best food, with the travel, with the supplements and everything, that's my number one priority. However, these dogs are gonna be up for adoption. So if you guys are interested, please shoot an email over to montysgoldens at gmail.com. I'm getting a ton of email because I promoted this before on Instagram and on my YouTube videos in the description. So I, I have so many emails and I apologize if I cannot get to all of them. I'm doing my best. However, there is a very rigorous interview process. I understand everybody wants a puppy they're very cute but from experience you cannot be a student most people can't live in an apartment unfortunately you need a home and a yard you know and I understand every but there are gonna be people from all walks of life but I really need them to go in homes that not only it matches with their temperament matches with their schedule matches with their finances dogs are very expensive and more than um, than a monetary expense it's the time that you need to have in order to give to this dog the best life um, do you have kids do you have family do you have other pets do you have dogs I need to know all of that stuff do you have a yard these things are really important to me and I don't want to offend anybody but I apologize if you don't hear back from me is nothing personal I just need to make sure that these animals go to their the best possible families right now and you know maybe in a couple years that'll be you but right now they need to go to a very specific family you know what I mean I hope you guys understand. I'm just doing my job here and the last thing I want is for a dog to end up in a shelter. That is not gonna happen, not on my watch. There are gonna be contracts set in place when I have the adoptive parents sign that if there is an issue and they can't take care of their animal, that they will need to bring the pet back to me. I'm just trying to be the best dog dad possible and make sure they go to the best families and make sure that they live long, happy lives with these families and they bring a lot of joy. So, sorry my camera died. Yeah, so if you guys are interested, please send an introduction email letting me know where you live if you're in california if you're elsewhere what your job is what your home's like if you have a yard what your schedule is which is very important like i mentioned over to montysgoldens at gmail.com many of the puppies are spoken for there is a adoption fee again it's just to weed out unnecessary applications but yeah i'm super excited to get these pups into homes and bring a lot of joy out into the world but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave some love down below in the comments. And if you have any advice for litter training or any ideas on how to keep the poop to a minimal, I think I need to work on their feeding schedule. Uh, they're about to get onto solid food in probably a week. That's gonna be a whole nother adventure. I will see you guys in the next episode of Dog Dad. I love you so much. And make sure to leave things better than how you found them. Love you so much, bye.